Hi darlings, this is Christina at Make a Box FYI and today I have something beautiful. Okay, so I couldn't resist this launch, just a little piece of this launch. So this launch um, came with the eyeshadow, two powders, I believe a highlighter and a few lipsticks. Now, of everything that they brought out, this was the thing that stood out to me. It called to me. This is in my color wheel. I love these colors. I love sparkle. I love glitter. Okay? That I just couldn't resist. Everything else was a temptation, but not as much as this. So I got a little, little piece. The Chantecaille Radiant Gold Eye Shimmer. And why I chose this is because I have one other Chantecaille Mermaid Eye Color in Copper, and this has to be one of my favorite one and done shadows. So I just knew like they were gonna hit it out of the park with this. It looked so beautiful, like a pinky, rose gold sparkle. Mm. They always do sophisticated sparkle, so I had to try it. They state this has a luxurious shimmer eyeshadow that washes the eye with radiant dimension. You already know I've been trying it. This is what I do. And I have to say, it does not disappoint. First of all, can we take a look at this packaging? Can we just take a look at this gorgeous, packaging so it's like crushed gold you can feel it a little when you press on it but it's not quite 3d like they didn't make it so that it wasn't you weren't able to like travel with it which was smart but if you look it is so gorgeous it's gorgeous packaging i mean Chantakai comes with it this so when we open it up like so at this now like i said i've been using it a little so it did have these kind of darker color lighter color kind of stripe pattern if you can see it now this does have 2.5 grams of product and it is a whopping 68 dollars so it's not a cheap product but guys it's a lot of product and look at this Ooh, 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 ooh compared to the Pat McGrath uh, blitz shades because it almost gives me that feeling that vibe but like on a little more sophisticated level whereas Pat McGrath's Astro Blitz shades you'd probably want to blend some other color in the crease area where this you can put all over the eye so let's stop talking about it and let's just get into it. so I'm gonna use my Sonia G blender pro blood brush and we're gonna just sweep it over the eye so as you can see it is like straight glitter guys but it's so pretty and I don't have anything on but like my foundation concealer on my eyes I don't have any primer or anything like that so you're gonna see how it just blends all on its own I mean I don't even have to wet this brush to make this look so beautiful so i don't know if you can see it all that reflect with a couple of swatches so so pretty i'm going to take my sonia g smudger 2 brush smudge it under the eye because this to me is a perfect one and done eyeshadow if you just want to enhance just a little enhancement and I'm going to just highlight the inner eye with the refer for 23 brush I love that that definitely gives it a little more impact on that inner corner as you can see I'm actually going to do that along the lower lid so a more densely packed brush is going to give you more impact so if you just wanted to do like a pretty like um, inner corner highlight like with let's say you just did like a bronze put your bronzer on the outer portion of your eye for the sake of this video let me show you let's use the Hermes bronzer because it's like most like my 
my color scan just a little darker and you build it so if I wanted to do like a very like nothing look right just that little pop of color in my eye that's pretty too just like that this is with a full eye of shimmer shine and this is with it just on the inner corner both are beautiful yeah, that was a little high so I just kind of tempered that a little so both are beautiful I think what I'll do is I'm gonna match up the eyes so I'll do both the same I'm gonna put my lashes mascara on I will come back and I'll give you some comparisons all right darlings BRB okay darlings so I put everything on I did a little of my Pat McGrath my rose lip liner and my clay de Peau, what is this oh hi Lue um, color together I thought this paired really nicely. Okay, so I told you well, one. Let me tell you first. I wanted to show you what it looks like when you actually wet the actual eyeshadow. So this is the eyeshadow wet. I used a little bit of my um, Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray, and this is when it's just um, when you just use your bare brush or bare finger. So you can see it's much more foiled, much more opaque. And then I also did it on this eye. So I put a little of that eyeshadow f like wet and then I tapped my, my lid so you can see the difference. So as you can see, it's a little brighter. It's a little more opaque, but not a huge difference. So it just shows you how truly amazing these shadows are on their own. I want to compare my Chantecaille Mermaid Color in um, copper so you can see the formula so this is obviously just dry definitely luminous but no shimmer like this one has that shimmer um, finish it's got that glitter right so just so you can see the difference between the mermaid Chantecaille colors and this special holiday edition okay so recently bought the mothership sunlit seduction and the only thing I can think of that I can compare it to, a little bit dirty, sorry guys. I'm gonna try this shade right here. I'm gonna put it right here. So you can see, this shade here, which is like that shift, that Barbie pink, that has like a little gold shift. Now these have a very, it's pink and it does say it has some type of um, dual chrome type to it, like a rose gold, but truly strongest base looks like it's pink. Um, where the Pat McGrath, obviously you see those gold tones are very present and you see it very, very strongly. You can see why this makes for a great one and done shadow because it's not as opaque. If it was that opaque, you like I said, you'd have to be blending into the crease some other color because it would just be like too much. I think if you like beautiful things on your vanity, if you are a lover of pink and gold and one and done eyeshadows, which I have become like a super fan of, I love the idea of making things a little easier sometimes when I'm running out of the house for working things. Don't get me wrong. I love my complicated looks, but this is a really nice look and it's a very nice color. It's very sophisticated. It's very beautiful. And so you see that little high, that little bit of the dual chrome shift, but it's very, very, very sophisticated, very beautiful. And you just can't go wrong with this packaging. So do I recommend 100%? I think it's gorgeous. I would buy it over again and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. It is a lot of product. It's quite costly, but you know, that comes with Chantecaille in general. So darlings, I hope this review helped. I hope you have the most amazing day week and i have some more content coming for you very soon next i may even be able to get like two videos out this week i'm gonna see i'm gonna do my best but hope you have a great day a wonderful week and i'll catch you in the next one